All right, this is your practice. Check your answers. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I did what's inside the parentheses first, and then I squared it. So that's 2 squared is 4. Multiply that together, and that's how you get the negative 20. 10 minus 9 is 1. And then there's 3 times 1 is 3. Add those together, and there's negative 17. Plug in the negative 3 for each of those x's. And we end up doing the order of operation again. So there's n here's exponent, or here's parentheses. So multiply, subtract. And that's how you get negative 10. Multiply those together, and what do I get? A positive 30, so it's negative 18 plus 30, which is 12. Your copy printed a little better than mine. So this is an x squared, so that's got to be an x. This side, whole thing's an x minus 1. That's why it's x minus 1. x minus 1. 1, 1, 1. x and x, because this says it's an x. That's an x, so that's x and that's 1. This is x, that side's x, y and y, and just combine like terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. 1, 2, 2, y's, and 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 2 is 2. And then to find the area, it's just adding all these areas together. So you got 1x squared, you got 1xy, 2x's, and a 1. Same type of problem, labeled all the sides, and then I just combine the like terms. And that's how you get the perimeter, and the area is just adding up all the areas inside. Find the area of a rectangle, okay? So that means I have to go base times height, length times width. The width is six feet shorter than the length, so if I guess 10, I'd add 6 to get 16. Area is multiplying them together. Too small. Guess 15. Added 6. Multiplied together. Too small. Guess 18. Add 6. Multiplied together. Don't forget to answer the question. Combining like terms. Just combine the ones that are alike. These guys are all alike. They're all x squared. 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1, minus another 4, that's how I get the negative 2. And then I combine all the x's together. There's a 5 and a 2x, there's the 7. Negative 6y and minus y, yeah. And then 17 and those last ones again. Same thing over here, just combine all the ones that are alike. find the area of just the shaded part. So I found the area of the whole rectangle and just take away this part. So 20 by 40 is the area of that rectangle. Area of this triangle is just base times height divided by 2. That gives me this. Then on solving the equation combine like terms Add 6x to both sides, and that's how I got no solution, because 50 is not equal to negative 6. And then 2x, oh, I'm going to get rid of the parentheses first. Got rid of them. Minus 2x, minus 3. So add those together. They're gone. Add those together. I'm just combining like terms on the same side of the equal sign. Add 5 to both sides. Divide. And there I go. To check your work, plug in your answer into the x. So I'm going to go 2 times the 1 plus 7 minus 2 times the 1 plus 3 
equals 9 times the 1 minus 5. So 9, there's a 4 on this side. Now hopefully I get a 4 on the other side, and that means I did it right. Multiply, so that's 2, there's a 9, minus, and 2 plus 3 is 5, so 4 does equal 4. It checks out. I'm happy. 18 ounce box of Fruit Loops cost $2.78. What would a 42 ounce box? So I set up ounces over money. Ounces over money, ounces over money. Then I cross multiplied 18x equals 2.78 times 42. And then I divide by 18 on each side, and I get $6.49. Last problem. Mr. Reader's so mean, he makes five kids cry in class in a class of 33 every year. If Mr. Reader has taught 2,000 students so far, then how many has he made cry? Well, it's five out of 33. There's the criers out of the total. Criers out of the total. Solve that, and you get... 303 lucky kids who have cried because of Mr. Reader. All right, now you better have all that checked and be ready to talk about tomorrow in class.